guys. We are going to do the 50 things about us tag, but we're only going to do 25 each about us. 50 things about us. 50 things about me. Me too. I have a scar on my butt. Go on. Okay, so I have two scars, one of my one of my butt and one of my forehead. The one on my forehead, I was two years old and fell on it. <laughs> and when I was seven, I climbed up a dryer to get a cookie, fell down on something sharp, never mind that, and got a scar on my butt. I lived in 14 different places, and I'm only 24. I used to play a video game between 9 p.m. and 8 a.m for a good three years. That's how I met Andrew in the first place. I never finished high school and I got my diploma through the Air Force, my high school diploma. I was supposed to get into a technological high school. Instead, I played a video game. Three years later, I got into the same job I would have had I went to school. So I'll talk about continuous life story, whatever. All right, my turn. I have a tattoo of an alien on my left calf, the side of my left calf. Uh, the cat is playing behind the camera here. <laughs> She's trying to be distracting. Mm, no. uh, I lived without running water for an entire year. I had to go to the river and haul water back to my house, boil it, you know, whatever, uh, washed with it and whatever. Sometimes, you know, I worked two jobs at the same time, so sometimes I had to uh, go to the gas station and wash my hair and things. So that was, a, that was a hard one year. I had to sometimes take river baths too. Yeah, you know the thing. I was during this one year saving up to buy a well to, because my well went out for a year. I used to live in a place called Hog Valley, Florida for most of my childhood. I have two birthmarks that are identical to my mother's. I have a patch on my forehead and I have a patch of freckles on my upper thigh. I was a single mother for 13 years. I lost about 30 kilos in two and a half months. I uh, never even gained half since then. Of course I gained some, but not a lot. And uh, that was right before I went to the States the first time. Cut. Bad kitty! <laughs> My favorite genres of music are metal and classical. I'm a big Tolkien fan for all of his books. Well, not too many books, but I like all of them. I have about 14 soldiers under my command right now. My direct command every day. I collect Air Force patches from all over the world, and I'll show you all full of them. I'm dyslexic, and sometimes I can see words flipped upside down, like an entire page of words flipped upside down. Uh, it's very tiring for me to read. Um, and if you see me rolling my eyes in any of my videos, sometimes I'm rolling my eyes because of the situation, but most of the time I'm rolling my eyes because I get a film over my eyes and I don't notice I'm doing it, but I'll roll my eyes to get the film out of my eye. Uh, I've done it for several years now. It's, I don't know what causes it, but sometimes I just can't see. Example incoming. All right, bye. Boy. Boy. Hard to focus. We're at night. It's hot out here. All right, bye. <laughs> it's not winter time yet. <laughs> Uh, Hadar wouldn't agree with this, but I'm pretty low maintenance. I can get ready in like five minutes and go. Sometimes I'm like quicker than he is. Now getting the baby ready is a different story because I'm, I'm not organized at all. Uh, that's another fact. <laughs> yeah, getting myself ready, uh, I can take less than five minutes and yeah, I don't use that much stuff. That's a very big lie. Okay. It is. So every time I want to go anywhere, wake up two and a half hours before I want to leave. That's I get the baby. That's because of the baby. And I can wiggle my ears. I used to do Olympic shooting with an air rifle when I was 12 and 13. I first shot a handgun when I was 13, legally. Here in Israel, you can't do it anywhere unless it's under a controlled range. 
So it's hard to do if you don't have a, you know, people are everywhere. You can't just go to a field and shoot. Mother. Mother. Oh, did it hit you? On a lift. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I haven't used 223 That can yet. hurt my nose when That's, you're shooting Well, the concussion it. on this side's a real sharp. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> I'll tell you my favorite. I think knowledge is power, and I know a lot of things, a lot of different things. I'm a munitions technician and a crew chief right now at a pen serving in the Air Force. Got a silver medal in judo uh, nationwide when I was seven years old. I have two college degrees, uh, both to do with medical stuff. We don't use chemicals to wash our clothes, clean our house, wash our bodies. We try to stick to natural things for our everyday cleaning. We don't use a microwave. I am obsessed with like zombie and horror and gore movies. I love them. I've watched pretty much every single apocalyptic movie there is. And another fact is I dream about the apocalypse all the time, all the time. My favorite sport by far is soccer. I can speak Hebrew, English, Portuguese, a little bit of Spanish, and I understand Arabic. I can speak a little bit. I can understand it though, and I can write in it. You're smart. I always like the mountains, the mountain landscape, and that's where I'll want to live one day. Maybe in New Zealand, who knows. I played Counter-Strike professionally when I was way younger, when I was 13 and 14, about that time. And I won some money in tournaments. Usually, people around me think I'm very cool. Uh, my facial expressions and the way I act, they think that, you know, it's almost, almost like a robotic feel. Because if something bad will happen, I'll react to it. But I always remain cool. Okay, let's just say that some guys that he worked with said that his name was Dexter, okay? Ever since I was like four years old, I sleep with my both of my hands like this, closed up in a tight fist, and I usually tuck them underneath in my body because uh, I watched an Alfred Hitchcock film where they were lighting a lighter, and every time the lighter didn't light, they would cut off one of their fingers. So ever since then, I sleep like this. I don't know how to properly tie my shoes, and I almost failed kindergarten. I do that for her. <laughs> uh, in school, I did pretty well. I did have some behavioral problems, and I acted out quite a bit, but I was pretty much just bored because, again, I lived in a place called Hog Valley. A place in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. I have never been in a bar and I have never been to a concert. I don't give up until I'm completely beaten. Doesn't matter if it's an argument, which I usually don't argue unless I know I'm right about it. I, can, I start collecting money off of people I argue with and take bets because they usually think I'm wrong, but I'm right. Physical too, I don't give up until I'm done. I work out until I'm done. I can't walk anymore and my muscles are sore for three days after that. That's just the way I am. I like the medieval era and all of its weapons and how they lived, and I think that uh, back then it was much more interesting than now. <laughs> I also used to walk dogs for money when I was a kid, because I used to help my mom. She uh, quit her job, her bad job, and then it was just me and her in an apartment, so I had to make some Aww, money. That's so nice. He helped his mama out. Uh, let's see, I'm missing a couple because I don't have very This is not the 25, 25 tag because it's hard to think of 25 things about yourself. He got 25. I, got I over asked 25. him, I said, <laughs> write me an email and tell me 25 things about yourself. We're going to do a tag this weekend. He wrote them out in like, well, I think you said 2.5 minutes. As long as it took me to write it in a cell phone, yeah. Yeah. Okay, and it took me about a month and a half to come up with about 15. So I did just pop off a couple more. 
There's a lot of things you don't know about yourself until you remember it. I mean, there's a lot of things you don't remember about yourself until you come up. Okay, I know uh, about my weight since I have a weight loss channel. The lowest weight that I've ever been was in high school, 140 pounds. Actually, 135 pounds. Um, I maintained 140 to 145. Uh, when I quit school, I quit school in, at, when I, okay, I quit school when I was 16. There's another one, and um, I finished my diploma at home through the mail. Back then, there really wasn't internet yet, and oh, I'm not, I'm not that old though. So I finished it through the mail, got my diploma before Zeb was born. I had my first baby when I had turned 20, so I was a pregnant teen at 19. My best friend is my mom, but Hadar makes a good substitute for my mom. He's, he's really my best friend after her. Um, but she was like my other half for many years because I was a single mom. What does Raphael do? Well, he, he air conditioner. <laughs> it's just gas the electric stove. <laughs> Dryer. <laughs> he licks everything. <laughs> uh, he's funny. He's a funny little boy. See, you know, he's hard to break that tongue licking everything. <laughs> Okay, that's enough. Uh, here's another fact. I can read lips, but not all lips. And I have an obsession with mouths. I think that's 25 now. All right. Do you have one extra for you? One extra? Yeah, one, one bonus round for you. I have one. What? People think that he's smiling all the time, so they ask him, what are you smiling at? Especially when something bad is going on, but he's not smiling. I'm just fooling you. Are you smiling? Why are you smiling? <laughs> yeah. It makes people feel comfortable when someone smiles at them, doesn't it? <laughs> so that was our 25 things about us. Or so. Wait. About me. Me too. <laughs> Bitches be loco. We make videos of our everyday life here in Israel. Subscribe to follow along. Take care.